Hello children. Today we shall get into a new chapter trigonometry. In this chapter the learning points are history and uses of trigonometry, fundamentals of trigonometry, trigonometric ratios, trigonometric identities and use of trigonometry in finding heights and distances. this capsule 1 in this capsule you are going to know history and uses of trigonometry fundamentals of trigonometry and under this you are going to learn about sides angles and pythagoras theorem of a right angle triangle you are also going to study about degrees radians and their interconversion Hello children watch this video carefully correct what do you think maths is very interesting isn't it now you list down the situations where you come across different shapes and sizes again you will find that you see them all around you cannot think anything without mathematics again Mathematics is also about measuring. Watch this video carefully. How is the height of Eiffel Tower or Qutub Minar measured? How is the width of big river is calculated? What method is used to find the distance between two buildings? Well, the answer is trigonometry. The word trigonometry is derived from the Greek words tri, gon and metron. That is trigonometry is a study of relationship between the sides and angles of a triangle. So trigonometry is all about triangles. You must be wondering what is the use of studying trigonometry? You will come to know the answer while watching this video. Let us look at the brief history of trigonometry. Lots of people from lot of different countries like Europe, Africa, Greek, Egypt, China, India had significant contribution to make ancient greek mathematician hipparchus was studying positions of stars and did lot of calculation which was one of earliest motivations for the development of trigonometry he is sometimes called the father of trigonometry ptolemy was another astronomer from egypt who had helped to develop trigonometry mathematicians from persia and india have also contributed a lot so from 3rd century trigonometry emerged as the study of right angle triangle which can be used to find the distances lengths and heights here are some of the daily life examples where trigonometry is used Now we know that trigonometry is about right angle triangle before actually learning the basics of trigonometry here are some simple questions and we shall take this for a quiz will you answer them number 1 can you identify right angle triangle very good the answer is Option B is a right angle triangle. Second 
second question which side of this triangle is called hypotenuse correct the answer is xz xz is the hypotenuse question 3 which type of a triangle is this isosceles or right angle triangle very good the answer is it is isosceles right angle triangle children do you remember the names of sides of a right angle triangle and how to calculate their measures good xz is the hypotenuse and the other two sides are xy and yz which form the right angle suppose the measures of xy and yz respectively are 3 cm and 4 cm what is the measure of the hypotenuse yes you are right we can find by using pythagoras theorem xz squared is equal to xy squared plus yz squared you know that we get 5 as the measure of xz that is hypotenuse now consider this triangle is it possible to find the length of the side using pythagoras theorem no it is not possible then how can we find them yes the answer is in trigonometry now let us understand the fundamentals of trigonometry let us consider a right angle triangle abc we know that the side opposite to the right angle is the hypotenuse now how many angles are left good two angles what type of angles are they yes you are right they both are always acute angles let us mark one of these angles with a special symbol theta the side opposite to theta is called the opposite side and the other side is the adjacent side the measure of angle theta is expressed in either degrees or radians radian is expressed in terms of pi you must be wondering what a radian is well it is another for measuring an angle well it is another way of measuring an angle it is mainly used in trigonometry let us consider a circle with radius r draw an arc whose measure is same as that of radius call this angle theta now this angle is subtended by an arc whose measure is same as that of radius so we can say one radian is one radius now consider the angle formed at the center it is the whole angle which is 360 degrees which arc subtends this angle yes it is subtended by the circumference of the circle so we can write as 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians that is 180 degrees is pi radians the general formula for converting from radians to degrees here is an example convert 45 degrees into radians 45 degrees is equal to 45 into pi by 180 that is pi by 4 radians now it is your turn to convert degrees into radians convert 200 degrees into radians here is the comparative chart between degrees or radians you have followed the fundamentals of trigonometry now 
write the names of sides of the following right angle triangles firstly triangle abc where b is 90 degrees have you written down the answer check your answers side opposite to right angle is hypotenuse side opposite to theta is opposite side and the remaining side is the adjacent side now the next one write the names of sides of the following right angle triangles you have learned similarities of triangles earlier let us consider two triangles triangle abc and triangle def in these two triangles angle a is equal to angle d angle b is equal to angle e and angle c is equal to angle f we know that if two triangles are equiangular then they are similar then triangle abc is similar to triangle def So if they are similar then their corresponding sides are in proportion we can write ab by de is equal to bc by ef which is equal to ca by fd now let us have some measurements we have ab by de is equal to bc by ef this can also be written as AB by BC is equal to DE by EF. Now, substituting the values, we have one by two is equal to one by two. This proves that ratios of corresponding sides of similar triangles are always equal. Now, let us extend this idea of similarity of triangles to right angle triangles. Let us consider two right angle triangles. Observe the diagrams. By RHS postulate, we know that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. These two right angle triangles are similar. Now, look at the hypotenuse in both the triangles. That is root 2 and 2 root 2. In both the cases, if we multiply one of the equal sides with root 2 we get the measure of hypotenuse observe the relation and check by yourself did you get it now if we need to find the measure of one of the equal sides it can be obtained by dividing the measure of hypotenuse by root 2 we are able to establish the relationships between sides of a triangle here do you think we need two isosceles right angle triangles to establish these relations no one triangle is enough similarly for a right angle triangle of measures 30 degree 60 degree and 90 degree it can be shown that one triangle is enough to establish the relationship between the sides of the triangle now observe that the hypotenuse and the side opposite to acute angle in both the triangles AC and DF are hypotenuse. BC and EF are the sides opposite to 30 degrees in each triangle. Do you find any relationship? Yes, hypotenuse can be obtained by multiplying this side by 2. That is BC into 2 is AC and EF into 2 is 4. Therefore, we have hypotenuse, which is equal to two into side opposite to smallest acute angle. Now, can we find a hypotenuse if the side opposite to largest acute angle is given? Can you find any relation between AB and AC or DE and DF? 
yes hypotenuse can also be obtained by multiplying the side opposite to largest acute angle by 2 and then dividing the product by root 3 hence in case of right angle triangle instead of two triangles we can consider only one triangle similarly side opposite to smallest acute angle and the side opposite to largest acute angle can also be found observe this relation hence in case of right angle triangle instead of two triangles we can consider only one triangle now here are some questions for you to practice question 1 in an isosceles right angle triangle if one of the sides measure 5 units then magnitude of the other side is dash question 2 in an isosceles right angle triangle if one of the sides measure 8 units then magnitude of hypotenuse is dash question 3 find the measures of ac in each case and also find the third side Now recall what all we have learnt in this capsule. Thank you. Congratulations.